I work for Letus. I'm the VP of training and development here at Letus. Uh, Letus consults with companies who are looking to improve marketing outcomes. Uh, we help people leverage best practices, combine strategy and automation technology to improve engagement and drive lead conversion. That's everything from marketing automation evaluations to working with companies on lead lifecycle and scoring, nurture planning, and of course, how you work with marketing automation as it relates to marketing and sales team interaction. What we'll be looking at today is Marketo's new Sales Insight interface. Sales Insight is a really unique tool that has been around for quite a while. Um, it integrates really seamlessly with Salesforce and Microsoft Dynamics. And what we'll find today is not only what the tool can do, uh, what it has been able to do for a while, but how the new interface can help you um, increase awareness into what your audience is doing in Marketo and online and how it creates a really clear, clear picture for you and your sales team uh, when it comes to engagement and conversion. As we go, um, feel free to pop questions uh, into the, the question section of the webinar. If we don't get to questions, we can always reach out and discuss after with you if you are interested in Sales Insight, um, either enabling it for your Marketo instance or upgrading, we're able to help with that as well, or any additional questions you may have about the tool. So let's take a look at a typical sales activity. Um, your sales team member may come into the office and check emails and maybe follow up on a few um, lead, leads and prospects, uh, make a few phone calls. You may get a lead on the phone or a prospect on the phone, but maybe the message is that they don't have funding. Um, and so, you know, they'd like you to give them a call back in a year or so. You might set some reminders and then you might find yourself getting busy throughout the year. Um, and when you call back nine months later, if you, if you remember, you find out that the prospect has actually received funding mid-year and decided to purchase from a competitor. So that is a scenario that is pretty common, however, um, not ideal, right? So what Sales Insight is able to do is help you and your sales team see and track lead and contact activity on your website and within your Marketo emails, and even emails sent out through Salesforce or Dynamics, which we will take a look at. They can actually see how the prospect's activity scores against others. So it will highlight people who might be the best bet, who are the most active and urgent prospects that sales can reach out to right now. Sales can get insights into the marketing emails and events that have been engaging the prospect. And they can actually add people right to Marketo campaigns and send emails through Marketo, which allows them to personalize communications and allow you to track and create campaigns that really engage people where they're at in the funnel. So with Sales Insight, your sales team member may come into the office and check emails, follow up on some calls, then they can actually jump in and check a lead feed to see which prospects have been active in the past 24 hours, create a plan, uh, check some of that activity uh, to see if they've downloaded the buyer's guide, for example, in a Marketo email that was sent, reach out at the correct time, talk to the prospect, learn that they may have funding in another six months or so, add that prospect to a watch list, and then take a look at that prospect on that watch list and reach out again at the right time. So you will be the first to reach out to that, that prospect and gain their business based on some of the interactions you are able to um, track in MSI. So as we jump in, we'll take a look at what MSI or Sales Insight looks like um, in Salesforce specifically, and we'll take a look at what's new. It is a Visual Force page in Salesforce that allows you to track lead and account activity across channels and show it shows the velocity over time. 
So what we're able to do now is take a look at week by week, what have people been doing? Um, and this is based on what's called interesting moments. And we will take a look at interesting moments and what that means. It also will show you a roll up of account activity. So I can take a look at what an individual lead is doing, but I can also see what they're doing in relation to the account that they may be a part of, if they're a contact. And I can also see what upcoming email campaigns or events might be affecting this person. The first thing we want to do before we take a look at all of these, these new dashboards and, and fun configurations is making sure that everything is set up correctly in your Marketo instance to enable this. You may already have this set up in Salesforce or Dynamics and you want to make sure that you're upgrading to the most recent release here so that you get these new features. If you're setting it up for the first time, uh, this upgrade won't apply to you. But you want to make sure you're going to the app exchange, which looks like this, clicking get it now, and either installing it for the first time or making sure when you click get it now that you are upgrading your current package. It's pretty straightforward. When you upgrade that package, it will ask you to install it. And typically we'll recommend that you install it for your admin users. Um, that is because with Sales Insight, there are a set number of licensed seats, meaning a set number of users that can view that module in Salesforce or Dynamics. And you want to make sure that you're not going over your license allotment. So you can always install this package for admins and then update permissions later to broaden this out. So again, a pretty straightforward upgrade. You're navigating to the App Exchange, clicking Get It Now, and choosing upgrade when you're prompted. You'll want to make sure that in Marketo, you are setting up what's called interesting moments and that you also have scoring programs set up and running. So it can be helpful to understand what interesting moments are. That's essentially what is sales going to find interesting. That could be any sort of web activity, such as visiting a specific web page. It could be email milestones, such as opening an email or clicking on an email, or milestones that you define. So a milestone could be a repeat visitor. It could be um, minimum number of web page visits, a conversion, anything that you think is a milestone that you want to relay in this MSI module will come through in this interesting moments feed. The other component here that really makes this work well is the person score. So what you wanna do in Marketo is, is track in a global sense and give people points for their activities. So if I open an email, maybe I'll get two points. If I visit a high value web page, maybe I'll get five. I'm accruing behavior points and I can also accrue, accrue demographic points. And so maybe if I have a specific title or I'm from a specific industry, we wanna start giving your audience points for their activities and their firmographics so that it starts to compare those scores against other people in your database. What Marketo then does is it takes those scores and it assigns flames and stars. Flames represent urgency. So that's how much someone's score has changed recently. So if I'm on a website or opening an email, you will see my stars increase. So Amy's really, really active. Let's start to float her up kind of to the top here. Stars are a or excuse me, flames are your urgency and stars are your relative score. So this is how you compare to other people in the database. So a high relative score would be an indicator that I'm more interested compared to other people. If I jump to my record in Salesforce, you can see here that I have a relative score value of two, an urgency value of three. So it is always out of three. And because I've been fairly active here, 
can see that I've been clicking in emails, filling out a form. My stars and flames are starting to increase and it's showing that my score has increased to 11. So that brings us to this dashboard. When installed, you will see this module pop in on a record called Marketo Sales Insight. And there is some configuration wherein you wanna make sure that the package fields that you've installed, such as engagement, urgency value, documentation will walk you through how to make sure that these are appearing in your Insight module. And you can see here that I can use tabs in the MSI module in this new bat dashboard to show me all of the, the cool stuff I've been up to. So let's take a look at the different components on an Insight view. We have the engagement velocity grid. So this is a dashboard of all activity for the past 90 days. You can also sort this by account. So in my case, what has Amy been up to in the past 90 days? It's gonna show me the different types of interesting moments, my web visits, perhaps a milestone that I filled out a form, maybe that my score has increased. You're going to see all of your interesting moments pop in here over the past 90 days. And you can go back and forth here and look for activities. So you can see April 10 to 17th, no activities for me, but on April 3 to 10th here, or 3 to 10, I've got an interesting moment, filled out form, opened an email, clicked a link in an email, et cetera. Okay. Showing you the interesting moments, showing you web visits, and showing you email interactions here. It also is going to show me the upcoming email campaigns and events. So if I load upcoming events, you can see here that there are no email campaigns that I might be a part of here coming up. But if you click on events, you will see that there are you know, any events that I might be involved in as well, okay? So again, you'll see all the potential email campaigns and any particular events. Something to note about the events and email dashboard, it will show all of the emails that are set to run in Marketo. So there are instances where I might not actually be involved in that email campaign, but it's giving sales an insight into the emails that are, are currently set to go in Marketo or set to run. The events will be specific to that leader contact. So you will see that this person has registered for an event in that view. Let's take a look at interesting moments. You can see here that these interesting moments have passed through that I've clicked link and it will give me the specific links that I've opened an email, that I filled out a form and these are specific to the interesting moments that we have set up in our Marketo instance. Therefore, these are customizable to what you find interesting. I can send over any type of interesting moment, email, web, or milestone, and you can define it. You're able to add tokens as well. So in the interesting moment, I can specify which email they clicked in, which link they clicked, or which form they filled out on which page. So it's an opportunity to get familiar and use Marketo tokens to really specify for your team what specific actions were taken by this person. It'll also show me the date of that interesting moment and allow me to subscribe to the activity of this lead. You're also able to see web activity. So what have people been up to on your website? Marketo uses Munchkin tracking code. And when it tracks that a person in your database has opened an email and clicked on a link and headed to your website, 
it can then follow that person throughout your website using tracking. So we can see what the person has been up to online. You can see here in web activity, I've been searching around on the team page and partner page. You can see that I've got a general path here and also where I've come from, the search or referrer page. So I've come from Google. You're also able to see the score. So how are people actually accruing points and which campaign is assigning the points? So you can see here, there might be 10 points for filling out a form. There might be specific points given for web pages, clicking links on web pages, any activity that we can track in Marketo in an email or on your website, we're able to assign a score to or points. So again, customizable to your instance and the points you want to give people. So you can see the scores that I've received for filling out a form and clicking a link gives a running total. We'll show my total up here. And it'll also give me my stars and flames. And so pretty urgent. Um, I've been very recently active and my score is increasing. The other interesting feature here is that we're able to see which emails have been sent and your team can actually click in and see which or what the email actually looks like. So not only which email, but let's get a visual on that email as well. So you can see here, I was sent this confirmation today. It'll show me if I opened or clicked it. I can click and it will open up and show the exact email that was sent in a preview mode. So your team does not actually have to have login access to Marketo for this. You can actually just click on it and see the preview, okay? And I can also do something called checking the delivery status. And so this will give a run up of all of the emails I've been sent, whether it truly was delivered, opened and clicked. That's a good thing to know because the status, if it's not delivered, you will see that and that can help with data hygiene. If, if you keep sending emails to someone and that's not delivered or there are otherwise issues, we wanna make sure we're tracking that deliverability. So sales might say, well, you know, I invited this person to this event, but they haven't responded. You can check that delivery status and see if they actually got the email. Here's an example of a list of multiple emails and you can see that this person has sent multiple emails but has not clicked yet. It's also an indicator of, okay, they're opening but not clicking. How might we readjust our strategy or the content that we're sending? Is there an opportunity to personalize, to get to people to engage more with our emails? There's also the opportunity here to add people to a watch list, add them to a Marketo campaign, send an email, a Marketo email through Salesforce or Dynamics, or view their record in Marketo. So let's take a look at what this means. In this interface here, you can see there's a drop down here, which I can choose. Marketo has a sales insight tab functionality, meaning that when you install this package into Salesforce or Dynamics, you're able to pull in a tab view that gives you a running view of people that you've added to your watch list, best bets, or people that have high engagement. So lots of stars or lots of flames that will start bringing people up and floating people up to the top. It will show web activity for those individuals, as well as anonymous activity and emails that have been sent. So it's an essentially, it's a roundup of what has been going on with your contacts in one view. So whereas this view is on one record, the leader contact record, I'm able to actually go to the Marketo tab, 
open that up and you can see this view here and a lead feed. And we will discuss these components here. So the lead feed, which is an RSS feed, is actually going to show real-time activities, things that are happening real time. And each activity pertains to an interesting moment. So you're going to see, okay, Amy came in, she opened an email on this date and this time, and she has stars and flames. You know, she's just a best bet, meaning this person is pretty active, scoring, has a lot of interesting moments. This might be someone to reach out to or further engage. You can subscribe and receive email notifications for events like this. And so if you click subscribe, the salesperson can actually get updates in their inbox for, oh, Amy opened another email or Amy has another um, web activity. It's going to show your team's best bets and you can either look at all contacts best best or bets bets or the contacts that you own the leads or contacts that you specifically own so it'll show you the contacts with the highest relative urgency and relative score you can see here i float to the top you can also add people to a watch list so a watch list would be you take Amy, you decide, you know, I'm going to kind of set some people aside, add them to my list and just track them. So I, I want to track what they're doing, but also maybe these people are people that I'm starting to engage, to engage with. You can also customize these views. So what I've done is I've created an Amy best bets view and I can pull in a view that looks specifically at Letus accounts. You can take a look at the web activity of both known and anonymous contacts. So it will show me the name of the person and the company, what they've been doing. So the page views, the last time they visited. Anonymous activity as well. So Marketo knows people who are in your database if they've been cookied or, or tracked with Munchkin, but it also can infer who's visiting your website or get, you know, infer some information about people that are on your website, but that aren't in Marketo yet. So you might see specific companies and, and it will show you the location of these people as well. And the last time they visited, you also have the option to research them by clicking um, this LinkedIn icon here, and it will bring you to information in LinkedIn that's able to gather. So let's talk about what sales is able to do through Marketo from Salesforce or Microsoft Dynamics. You can see here on my record, we're gonna head back to Amy. You have the option here to add to a Marketo campaign, send a Marketo email or view in Marketo. What I can do is create an email in Marketo and adjust the email settings and make it available to Salesforce or Microsoft Dynamics. So I can publish this to Sales Insight. What this does is it pushes this template over to Sales Insight and allows the sales user to actually edit the email. So similar to any template you might build out of the box in Salesforce or Dynamics, this is just a Marketo specific template that I can go in and personalize. And then I'm actually able to deploy it. So if I choose send Marketo email, It will bring up my screen that allows me to choose the template. Once I make that email available, I can choose the template and it will bring up 
the template to edit. Okay. I can then go and adjust it and click send with Marketo or send a test. Send with Marketo will deploy the email through Marketo. Send a test will send it to the person who's created it. So you can see here, it will allow you to choose a template. I can also send and log emails directly out of Outlook or Gmail. So I can enable a license for Outlook or Gmail, and I can license it to specific sales members. That's in the configuration documentation if you have added this feature. Send an email through Marketo. You can see here in Gmail, I have the ability here, send through Marketo send a Marketo message, and I can also log the replies from the leads and the contacts, and that history will be added to the Marketo activity record. The other functionality we have is the ability to add people to a Marketo campaign. So let's say I don't necessarily want to make templates available. I can certainly create our Marketo program and allow sales members to add them or trigger the addition of someone to that campaign. I choose add to Marketo campaign. I can go in, select the campaign I'd like to add them to and click add to Marketo campaign. Something to note here is that in Marketo, this does require that you set up a trigger within the campaign, which says campaign is requested by Sales Insight, and you activate that. And that allows sales to choose this campaign, trigger it, and deploy. Okay. The other feature to be aware of is that I can actually go in, click View Marketo, and without needing a login to Marketo, I can actually bring up individual lead and contact activity details here. So you can see in Marketo, this is my information. And I can look at my activity log. So I can actually check, okay, what's happened and have they been scored? And have they, what have they been doing through email and online? All right. So if sales is deploying emails or sending campaigns through Marketo, it can very easily report on that using the specified filters. So you will see a was sent sales email filter I can bring in. And I have a report called sales insight email performance where I'm able to see which template was chosen and sent and how many opened and clicked, unsubscribed, et cetera. All of the typical stats you would see for any email send, but this is going to report on it based on the template chosen. A couple other tips and tricks and things to understand about this new Marketo MSI and interface. So that you can use Sales Insight for non-native Salesforce integrations. So sometimes people will connect to Salesforce through um, a customized API. There is some additional documentation to help you configure that. You're able to use MSI on mobile with Salesforce One. You're able to use multilingual support. There are three different additional languages that are supported. And you can also perform bulk actions. So I can create list views, select all leads or contacts, and send emails to lists of people or add lists to a campaign. So instead of doing a one by one, I'm able to actually create, create a list view, select and send to multiple people. So this has been an outline of some of the new features, kind of the new tips and tricks. I hope you found it 
useful. Um, I would definitely say if you have not dug into using insights and all that it can do for tracking engagement, that you do so, that you take some time to learn more about it. And of course, we are here to help you maximize that, optimize, optimize that, or upgrade should you, should you need some help. I think I will open it up briefly here in case anybody has any questions. feel free to send a message in the chat or email me personally. You all should have my email address. I'd be happy to answer any questions or help you get this, get this started and work with the tool. I have a question here that in order to have sales insights integrated into Salesforce, does the Munchkin code need to be deployed on all web pages? I would say that the having Munchkin deployed on all web pages is not uh, a prerequisite to have insights up and running. Um, if it is on most of them, you will still be able to track the web activity that is on those pages. Um, and it will just not report on the, the ones that you don't have tracked. So I will say if to make it really shine, you'll want to have Munchkin on all pages, as many pages as possible. Yes. I have a question about Salesforce Classic versus Salesforce Lightning. Good question. There are some nuances when using Salesforce Lightning um, and setup and configuration tips um, that I have linked to. I will send this presentation um, deck as well as recording with some additional resources to you so that you can understand sort of the differences between Classic and Lightning. Um, there is a difference in how you would bulk send to people uh, in Lightning. So I will, I will send some more information there. <laughs> 